hi everyone i hope you're all doing great thanks for your support and love i really do appreciate please and if you're new to my channel subscribe share and like my videos thank you in today's tutorial i'll be showing you how to make a simple and beautiful open front kimono dress so let's get started this is a two yards on kara prints on fold now i'll fold this fabric into two again So I practically folded the fabric into four. This kimono can be made as a top, a mini dress or a maxi dress. It all depends on the length. So the first measurement to mark is the length of the dress. So I'll be making use of the entire length I have here, which is 35 inches. But if you want your kimono longer, you can use a fabric width of two and a half yard or three yards. The next step is to get the shoulder slope. To achieve this, you take the measurement of the center back down to wherever you want the length of the sleeve to be. So the measurement for this client is 19 inches, but I'll be adding one inch allowance and that will be 20 inches. So at the starting line, you measure 3 inches for the neck width. But for a large size person, you should use 4 inches so it isn't too tight. And from that point, I'll come down by 2.5 inches from the end of the 20 inches as shown. Then you connect the two points to your ruler. Since the wideness of the fold is 20 inches, you should place your ruler at the edge to rule a straight line down to the M. Now let's focus on the neckline for the back and the front panel. And also remember I'll be attaching a collar of about 2 inches wide. So for the back panel, I'll be using a neck depth of 1.5 inches. Why the neckline for the front panel will be in form of a v-neck. So the neck depth for the front panel is 8 inches. Now I'll place my tape on that point to mark 1 inch horizontally. Then I'll use a straight ruler to connect the neck depth to the neck width as shown. Now on this neck depth, I marked 1 inches. So on the M at the center of the fold, I'll also mark 1 inches. Then I'll connect the 1 inches point I marked on the M down to the neck depth as shown. The next measurement to mark is the sleeve opening. I want the wideness of the sleeve to be 15 inches, so I'll place the tape on the shoulder slope to mark 15 inches. But if you don't want the sleeve opening to be too wide, you can use a wideness of 11 inches. So on this 15 inches point, I'll mark 1 inch horizontally. Then I'll rule a vertical line to the M as shown. Mm -hmm. 
Now the next step is to trim out the neckline for the front panel. So I have to separate the back panel from the front panel first. So this opening will be at the center of the front panel. This is the right side of the back panel. So I'll place the right side of the front panel against the back side. Now I'll take it to the sewing machine to secure the shoulder slope by half an inch as shown. Now I've secured the shoulder slope and I also overlocked the seam. The next step is to secure the sleeve opening. Now I'll take it to the sewing machine to secure the sleeve opening for both sleeves. Now the next step is to sew the side by half an inch. Now the next step is to attach a collar to the opening at the center. To determine the length of the collar, I will mark the midpoint of the center back. I will place the tape on the midpoint down to the shoulder joining. I have 3 inches. So for the front opening, I will place 3 inches on the shoulder joining, following the shape of the opening down to the end. So I have 38 inches, then I'll add about 2 inches extra, which will be 40 inches. So the collar doesn't look short after attaching to the body of the kimono. So yeah, I have 2 straps, which is 5 inches wide and 40 inches long. So I'll place these straps on the gum stick to trim and then I'll use the hot iron to gum the gum stick to the adhered fabric. Now I'll take the same machine to attach both collars by half an inch. Hello guys, we're almost done and I'm so excited to share this tutorial with you. To attach the collar to the kimono, I'll place the center of the collar in the center back of the kimono as shown. Then I'll pin all through.
Now I'll take the kimono to the sewing machine to secure the collar to the kimono by half an inch all through. Yes, so we are almost done. I've secured the collar and make sure you give it a try because it's a very simple and comfortable kimono. Finally, you should secure the end by half an inch and further folding it in by half an inch all through. Thanks for watching to the very end. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so we can grow this family together. Thank you.